Alright, welcome to Miss Survival. I'm going to show you how to get set up for success in the first 15 to 20 minutes. I say 15 to 20 minutes because there are multiple different starting zones. So it can vary between <coughs> the different starting zones. However, the path to success is very much the same every time. It's just where you start along that path uh, dictates how much time it's going to take. This particular time we started off in a great one because we started off in the lumber yard. Uh, you just want to keep running straight through, um, <clears throat> basically straight from your starting point. Uh, you'll come, you'll run past these right there, and you'll come down here. Um, sometimes there's a bear there. As long as you keep running, you should be fine. Uh, grab the gas can, and then you want to take a sharp right and go in between these two hills right here. And then on the other side, there's a little cabin. Now this doesn't have much to do with getting the vehicle and all that, but it'll get you set up pretty good. There's usually some goodies on this skeleton right here. And this one had a bat, some ammo, and some food. Uh, we'll leave that stuff there and come back for it later. Uh, okay, and now what you want to do is basically run straight across the street from that location. And uh, if you off to the left just a little bit, you'll see the cart. And you'll throw the suitcase in the cart. We're going to come over and pick this box up. Don't bother looking in it. it, it always has basically the same stuff in it uh, it's all good now grab the cart and take off uh, first place you're gonna go is up here to this red building and you'll see two vehicles parked here you're gonna drop the cart here and you're gonna check the trunk anything good you want to take for sure, nothing, I usually focus just on food. Okay, and a lot of them will always have a tire. Some of them, sometimes there'll be two tires, but one of them will always have at least one tire. You take the one tire, grab the cart, and you move up to the next building. Now the next building is very important because that is where the vehicle is. Okay, here's your vehicle. You're going to take the tire and you're going to throw it down in here. Don't bother putting it on now. It won't really matter. I want to take these boxes up, put them on the ground. And if you want, you can go in them. They usually have some goodies that might come in handy later, um, such as weapons, food, and drink. Um, I focus more on food and drink. All right, then you want to start running up this hill. And if all is going well, you should be at about the four minute mark. And you're going to head towards the uh, gas station over here. Alright, well that tire just flew right out of there. I'm not sure what that was all about. But that saved us some time on that one, didn't it? Alright, we'll put that tire in there. And we'll go ahead and take off this tire. Now, that does not always happen, obviously. There's not a tire uh, flying out all the time like that. Alright, we got two tires in there. Check the trunk. Ooh, we got a revolver this time. You don't always get the same loot. It is different every time. Uh, but you don't want to waste too much time here. You want to get going uh, as fast as you can. If you see any gloves or anything like that, go ahead and equip them. 
Um, I would say take the tire out of this one, but we already got the tire over there, so you have plenty of time. Grab the cart, and you're going to want to park it in front of this door right here. Okay, and then you're going to come over here, grab whatever weapon you desire. If it's one you picked up or whatever, a uh, bat works just fine. That is a guaranteed weapon you should have at this point, is a bat. Come in here, there'll be a guy to kill. Couple of head shots and he's down. Don't worry about anything else, come straight into this room. And then select your gas can and hit interact. You want to cut it off as soon as you can. One or two percent is all you need. Turn that puppy on. Then for some reason you can't just put that back in the inventory. You got to throw it down and then grab it. Which is eh, whatever. Make sure you got a couple of spaces open in your inventory. Then you're going to run over this way. Hit the button to open the door. Crouch. And you're going to grab the car jack. I'm going to crouch while hitting the F key. There we go. Because this thing likes to disappear on you. Um, so you want to crouch and then spam the F key while you're walking towards it. Um, and then you'll pick it up instead of try to loot it. That seems to work better for keeping it uh, from disappearing. Alright, then what you're going to want to do... This guy, oh wait, I almost forgot. The most important part is the battery. Now if you do forget it, you don't have to come back like this like I'm doing. This is adding time, so uh, fine. The battery's right there. Okay. Watch out for this on the si on the left hand side here. I usually start going up into the trees right about here. As long as you stay on this side of the road, you should be fine as long as you keep moving. Uh, don't worry about these hills right here. You can run right off them and they won't hurt you at all. Some hills will though, so don't do that to all hills. Just those ones right there at that particular moment. Um, but. You want to continue down this way. Uh, don't bother with anything in here. You don't need nothing in there. Alright, now sometimes when you get up here, a mist event will be starting. And you'll have to uh, take measures uh, to prevent uh, from dying. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. So far it looks clear. Go around all these cars. Okay, you can see the car directly in front right here. That is your target. Because that is the car that has the engine. And it has the engine every single time. So it is always going to have the engine. And go ahead and take that out. Come over to your cart. Toss that sucker in there. And we are out skis. I want to continue down back to where that red truck was in the garage. Now, obviously, if you want to, you can stop and loot and all this stuff, but this is just to show you how fast you can get everything you need in this game. Um, literally, in about 10 to, 10 to 20 minutes, depending on where you spawn. Because sometimes you have to run a little bit longer to get to places, but everything that I, everything you're going for is in the same spot, so... 
no matter where you start. It's just how long it takes you to get from the start point to the uh, line of loot. All right, so getting through the uh, familiar territory here. And you should be running pretty low on stamina right about now. Um, also, you do want to keep in mind that the mist event is going to happen in the first 15 or 20 minutes also. So you want to always be wary and mindful of that. Okay, and we just ran out of stamina at the top of this hill. Um, that's probably because we had to run back for the battery. But, uh, usually I run out of stamina right about the, uh, edge of these, uh, this hill here. Right about here is where I run out of stamina. Which is actually the perfect spot because you can more walking down here. And you can drop the cart pick up the engine and then you're going to want to be careful because sometimes this thing gets all floaty so try not to hit the truck with your character because you could uh, push it around oh and we have a mist event coming in okay if that happens while you're at this location you simply want to run upstairs go into one of the rooms make sure the door is shut Put your timer for sleep on for two hours. And voila, it is over with. You can run back downstairs and continue the process. And install battery. Okay, grab tire, install tire. Install tire. Okay, and grab another tire. And the final tire. Then you're going to want to move the cart out of the way. Probably should do that to begin with. Alright, then you're going to grab your gas can again. Whatever's left, it doesn't matter. It'll be plenty to get you where you need to go. Go ahead and... Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong button. I want to hit the E button to fill the tank, not to empty the tank. Okay, it gives you about 5%, which is plenty. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry about that at all. Go ahead and put the gas can down. Pick it back up. I don't know why that is that way, but it is. Hit F, then E to start, then S to reverse. Space to stop, F to jump out. Grab the suitcase, pop the tailgate, throw in the suitcase, grab box, throw in box. Say farewell to your cart. Because you've got a ride now. Hit the C button. Change view. And once you're in this view, you can zoom out with the mouse wheel. Alright, and there you go. You have a vehicle. And then you can drive like a right dick like I do. Or you can take it easy. Uh, but this is the path you want to take back. right by these guys they won't care at all be careful on those hills and you stop right here and come down here and home sweet home Oop. shut off the car this time to get out and over here you got an ATV and a cart 
in here you got buco storage and the workbench and over there you have a trailer and right here you have your very first base and this is all in about 15 minutes so now granted we didn't do a whole lot of looting or anything like that but I mean you got a nice house you got a truck you got a little bit of gas and uh, workbench already saves you a lot of time and it is only 1300 hours in the game so it is just barely past noon you still have plenty of time to run around and loot stuff before it gets dark and if you get enough gas you come around to the back here and there's another gas can go over here select the gas can that has gas in it interact now this time you can go ahead and put it all in there and uh, once you do that kick on the power and there you have it you have power to this house as well so you can turn on the switches for when it gets dark and the buco part about this place is it's already got a bed for you and some storage in your bedroom to store all your clothes and stuff that you want to wear in the game and then also over here these are the switches that control the lights in the garage so you have lights on the outside lights on the inside and there you have it I mean if yeah, this isn't about the best start you could have I don't know what it is I mean search finding a couple of guns along the way <laughs> like uh, you know, this one right here just uh, call me dirty hair I uh, hope this helps you out. Have a good one. Bye.